what if you could just use your iPhone device to do motion capture in real time? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you today. We're gonna to be using an iPhone device. Also, a couple of tools which are going to be the AR Foundation Editor Remote 2.0, which is going to allow us to send the information back into Unity. I'm also going to be using AR Kit body tracking technology to be able to capture our bodies in real time from an iPhone device. And lastly, we're going to be using the Game Object Recorder that are going to allow us to create keyframes of any movement that happens in our body and save it back into Unity as a clip. So let's jump into my computer and start looking at it. So the first thing that I have in here is a scene that we're going to use for recording. So this is going to be the robot that we use for all the animations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hide it. And what we need to do to connect it is I'm going to go ahead and hit play. You're going to see that there's going to be a camera right behind me. And you're gonna see that the robot is going to it's going to try to do its best to position itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up, and you're gonna see that as soon as I do that, the you know the robot is gonna be positioned correctly. I'm gonna hit record, and we're gonna do an animation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and try to do some boxing, move around, maybe go down and up, down and up, and then you know exercise a little bit because we need to we need to wake up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. And as soon as I do that, it's going to save the animation. In fact, if we were to go into my files in here, if you go to animations, you're going to see that I have an animation controller, which is the one that you see right here on the right hand side, and also an animation placeholder. So if I were to hit play, you're going to see the animation is going to start up and the robot just moves around. And just know that I'm not the camera, the room, my room is really small, so it's really hard for me to create an animation right here, but it gives you an idea of the power of this functionality. So if I were to hit, you know, play to stop it, and we go into another scene, I'm gonna go into the AR body recorder playback. This is another scene that I have just to test the animations with, you know, it has ground, it has a nice, you know, a nice sky and shadow. So we can see things happening here in real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play just to show you how this works. And as soon as you hit play, it's going to start the animation. It doesn't start it because I have the animator here, I have a variable that it's called start. As soon as I hit start, it's going to start animating the character. And again, the feed is not currently accurate because of the, you know, the way that I position the camera. Well, let's go ahead and try this again. Let's go ahead and go back here and I'm gonna go back into my main scene. It's gonna be the recording scene. And this time I'm going to try to do a better job. Let's see if I can, I can actually do a better animation. And at some point here, we're gonna see your body. Let me go ahead and raise my hand. There we go. And what I'm going to do, let me see if I can do one sitting down. There we go. And I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, do a couple of movements in here, like unboxing. For some reason, I feel like boxing, it's a good representation. Or maybe I stand up and I look up, look down, look on the side, do, you know, a few exercises in here. And then we can go ahead and stop the animation from recording. And now the character is sitting, it's playing. It's playing because I already had this property here in the animator, you know, set to true. You're gonna see that, you know, the character is going to stand up, it's looking down, it's moving around, and just, you know, simple animation. So the way that this could work really well is you could basically just save the animation placeholders that I have in here. So if I were to go to animations, and I can capture any animations I like, and as soon as I'm done with one, we can duplicate it. This could be, you know, my sitting animation, and then you're gonna start recording them and saving them, you know, and then basically adding them to the animator. So if you guys are interested about learning more about how I coded it, let me know in the comments and I'll make another video where we go through creating this from scratch. But I just wanted to keep it simple, just give you a demo of the possibilities. Thank you guys.